Hi guys, today a very small package. According to the description, it's a rectifier bridge. I'm pretty sure that's what's gonna be inside. As you probably remember from the previous films I've been posting, I'm trying to build one of these portable wind power generators. So I have a three-phase uh, permanent motor, which I would like to use as a power supply. So this will help to convert the outputs from the three cables into something more usable, which will be able to feed them to the DC-DC converter for charging the batteries. So that will be slowly coming together. Once I have all the elements, I'll put together a movie and post it on Instructables. So keep a lookout for that. But today we'll talk about something totally different. We've got this excellent Sri Lanka or otherwise Ceylon cinnamon and aspirin. So today we'll talk about very unusual usage of these. No, not for culinary purposes, but for gardening. But in the meantime, let's just confirm the contents of a package. And a bridge rectifier it is. 1000 volts, 35 amps. More than enough for our purpose. But instead of making a PCB board and playing around with diodes, I decided to buy a ready-made module. Might be a bit bulky and overkill, but for a proof of concept, this should work. So let's get back to our aspirin and cinnamon. Funny thing is, aspirin can act as a growth hormone. I've been planting some seeds and they've been there in for two weeks. Something started sprouting, but otherwise the rest is not moving at all. it has been seeds from AliExpress, could be a bit old. So we'll try to help them and see if aspirin works. As for cinnamon, there's been some moldiness in the soil that's what happens when you keep moist soil in a warm environment sometimes it can get moldy and cinnamon should help to kill that fungus while it's also protecting the, the seeds and, and roots on the other plants so let's put this in the grinder and make some powder and in the meantime we'll dissolve the aspirin and use that for watering Five hundred milligrams, two pieces. I think one will be enough, and we'll need to dissolve this in about a gallon of water. So we'll dissolve that later, even more before watering. This is nicely dissolving. In the meantime, we'll grind some cinnamon. Okay, so we've got our true. Salem cinnamon, not the cassia brand that you usually find for stores, which not only is very hard to grind, but also has a very extensive amounts of coumarin, which can cause liver damage. Whilst this is pure health. So it's your usual coffee grinder, works perfectly for this purpose. to get as fine powder as possible. Excellent. And now we can go ahead and treat our plants.
So as you can see, I've got some wasabi growing, some sunflower, but the other containers, unfortunately, don't show any sign of anything happening, except, as you can see here, this white stuff, the soil is getting moldy. So we'll help to treat that with our ground cinnamon. You can cover it in quite large amounts. It won't hurt your plants. As a matter of fact, it will even help them. Whilst otherwise the fungus and mold, for some reason, doesn't like cinnamon and should disappear. Of course, the effect won't be immediate. So you gotta trust me on this one. I'll throw in a movie later on well, you see a comparison, but for today, that's it. Okay, so as you can see, our plantation is evenly covered with cinnamon. And now we can go ahead and water with our aspirin water. Here we have our solution, which was in the glass container, dissolved three to one. I think it will be perfect for usage. Okay, so finish the watering off screen for today. It's all. And see you again tomorrow. And of course, watch out for an upcoming movie. I'll show you a comparison of what we have today and how it turned out. So take care. Be sure to subscribe, like, share, and see you tomorrow.